This isn't something that's new. I, I don't know what the Phillies, and with all the eyes that they have on a guy like Aaron Nola, and all the eyes they have on their starting rotation, the guy that's having the biggest struggles is the guy that you were just trying to sign to a long-term deal. Uh, what sucks is everything but that third inning. Aaron Nola was great. He was great in every inning, but of his seven innings that he put out there, he was great except for that third inning. And that's when he had runners on, and that's when he really struggled. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I don't have a keen enough eye to be like, oh, well, he's like uh, fanning his mitt a little too much here when guys are on and he's tipping his pitches or whatever it is. I don't know. But Rob Thompson is telling you that they're on it and they can't figure it out either. So that – I'll tell you what bothers me about that. Obviously, it's the result – 300 batting average, that's terrible. Um, But I'll tell you what really bothers me about it is that that means, I mean, you can't see what's between the guy's ears. So when it comes to evaluating Aaron Nola between not having runners on and having runners on and why the results are so unbelievably different from when he's pitching out of the stretch uh, versus the windup, that means it's between the ears. Doesn't mean that he's fanning his mitt or he's, he's, he's holding the baseball different or his toes are pointed in a different direction or his elbow is a little wider or anything like that. It, it just shows you it's between the ears. And that's not good. It's, I mean, it's certainly not the yips by any means, but I think it's a, uh, a, a low form of it.